Okay, guys, we are back in The Wolf Among Us. Uh, because Big B Wolf. And I guess we're going on the elevator. Click the button. Oof. Gotta wait a little bit. Oh, there it is. Let's go. Oh, well, that was odd. Oops, someone's running down the stairs. Uh, hmm. Big B. Hey, wait up. Don't. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of this. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Yep. Yeah, avoid this whole thing, probably. Be best. For Fable Town. Room 204. A nice door. Big B's apartment. <laughs> Damn, she was right at the window. All right. Ooh, that water. Beautiful. Uh, what a night. Right? What's in the freezer? Ooh, ice. Not even ice. Damn it. That sucks. What the fridge? Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Coffin. Are those the, his uh, cigarettes? The Huff and Puffs? Bluebeard, Bluebeard folder. Bluebeard's file. What's he got? Never trusted this guy. Yeah, never. Chinese food. Probably a bad sign. Yeah. Not safe there. Let's turn on the fan. Should help. Oh, God. Big. His name's Colin. Hey. Colin. Get up. Let's nudge him a bit. Oh. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Well, I'm tired. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Pig. Shouldn't he be at the farm? Oh. Hmm. Interesting conversation. Got a smoke? Pig smoke? Okay. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. I can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Oh, don't geez. send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? Be you haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. It wasn't that... It's not that bad. That for me? Nope. Oh, the house going. didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Oh, now, I'm not that? saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Take a sip. Be rude like that. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> I take it all back. 
This is why everyone hates you. Good, I want people to hate me. Fear me. Better be feared. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. <laughs> Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. It's got in a fight, man. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. My job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Yep. Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck. You. Ooh. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. Ooh, by being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Big bad wolf. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Hmm. There was a girl. Uh, I forget I her name, though. Know her name. Awesome. Great example. I saved her life, gave her money. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Oof. Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Get your own right, water. Just sense. give me a drink, please. Colin, enough. He's really already. thirsty. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Oh, come on. Look, give him some water. If I give you this. Let me sleep. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give him the drink. Because I will be the sheriff that Fable Town needs. Thanks, Big B. Yeah, that tongue. the night the next day oh knocking no one's here you think I could just ignore the knocking oh my it's gonna get annoying though if I don't strain that tie big B snow snow White. come with me Don't even close your door. Snow. What's up? Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Weird guy. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Something going on. What's up with that? Okay, let's lift up the jacket. Any 
insert warning. Oof. No. Oh, she's dead. You knew this girl? She gave her money. Is she's not a Mundy, right? No. Who was she? I thought I she knew was everyone in Fable Town. She a working familiar. girl. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean I'm a working girl. No. Oh. In Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And then he threatened to kill us both. No. I think the woodsman did you this? I don't think he I don't think anything. Could have been an act. Just give him a second. It's just Who found her? found her. I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Gotta be like Big CSI news. here. Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. It was on the front gate. I mean, it had to be a fable. They know where we live. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Why else would they drop her head off here? Yep. Uh, I mean, what's up with her mouth? What's that? What is? What is that? Is that the ribbon? Is. It's a ribbon. There's Rip. some kind of symbol here. No, I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Let's look at smiley face. Let's look at the neck. Strange Ooh. god. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Like an axe. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? We can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Which means that they know where we are. Monster would do this. Gotta be a fable. Blood. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Mm -hmm. Kind of a murder. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Let's investigate. We we'll still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. I want to check out that blood. Let's look at it first. back there. Let's touch the blood. Although that's not blood. what you should do. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. Hmm. No signs that it's been here long. Let's pick it up. Jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Yeah, there's like so many people that wear jeans in this world. Trash can. Nothing. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped a fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Can I touch the blood? Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Now we'll go to the trash can again. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think we need to go inside again, do we? I guess we'll compare fabric. Because it's jeans, though. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time.
We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Take some Nathan, pictures. Do you have any idea what's going on? I don't want to say yet. Or this is a message, maybe? This is a message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Biggie. Why else would it I be placed there? I complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. It's purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All yes. of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll do just what you be need worse to do. if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. That wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Dr. Swinehart. Blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, <laughs> you and all the rest of them in there. Fucker. Ooh, he doesn't like me very much, does he? You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running no smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, yeah. is that how you see things? Yes. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life nope. and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Her yeah. pimp. Her pimp. Her... Was she, uh... Yep. Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. Ooh. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? No he is wine? Forget it. You can't do anything right. Yeah, he's... Do your job, Sheriff. Up. Or we'll find someone who can. Don't say anything. Just don't say anything in that situation. Don't want to be fired. You would have just pissed him off more. Yep. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Nah. Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Oh. Is... Is he gone? Yes, yes. thankfully. 
Oh, dang. He's the one with the wine. Buckkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Buckkin. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. The first Be back three. in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. Somewhere. You'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Let's go. Ooh, a magic lamp. I'll rub that. Good luck. I can try. Oh. Let's, uh. Magic mirror. Ooh. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. Huh. There's no need for that. Fine. Okay. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Look at him. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. What's woodsman? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me snow. Show me snow white. Much of a request. She's in this very room. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone, someone new. new. Okay. There's the books. Oh god. He's been drinking too much. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, and we will be checking out those books next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.